Good morning, guys. Oh, you guys went dark. Went to the dark side. Good morning, and welcome to today's video. Today is Saturday, and I'm feeling awesome. Sam went out to do chores like an hour ago. He usually comes back and says, why aren't you ready? And today, I got ready. <laughs> He's still not back. So, I'm not freaking out. I'm gonna go check on him. Oh, the sun, it looks so gorgeous out today. So it was supposed to be like summer today in the teens, but now it's only gonna be 10 degrees, but I'm okay with that. I was worried about you, it took forever. Oh, oh. you put the hay round bale out? What? You put the round bale out? Yeah. By yourself? Yeah. Those lazy kids. I woke him up. I'm gonna go start chores. Well, they have to get ready. If we wanna go, then we need them to be ready. Ah, Kirby, remember the rules. See, she remembers you guys. All right. I have to do the same thing with Ellie. Every fiber of my being is like, let's clean the barn today. But no, we're going shopping for something really special. Because if you guys don't know, it's my birthday week. So last night we went to the award ceremony for the show season this year. It was so fun. I love our barn. I love our trainer. You will never, ever, ever find a better, nicer barn than our barn. You'll never, ever find a nicer, kinder barn than our barn. But anyways, we were driving home and Sam stopped, slammed on the brakes. And you won't believe why. Yep, it's this. <laughs> he found this coffee table on the side of the road. Ugh. Oh, this thing's heavy. Anyway, it might not look like much to you, but do you know what this is gonna look like to our boy goats who lost their their bed yesterday? Yeah, like Sam was just saying last night. Hey, you guys, our boys lost their, their thing that they like to stand on. This is cute. Bad. They'll stand on it. Yeah, they'll sleep on it. It'll be inside. Do you want help? Yeah. It'll be inside. So. Yeah, it'll be inside. But isn't it amazing how God works? Ellie, it's not for you. You just say that you, you know, you just let your wishes and your desires and your needs be known. And he'll bring it into your life. <laughs> Ellie really thinks there's a dog attached to that thing. <laughs> She loves it. <laughs> they both do. Clearly this home had dogs. Let me run ahead and get the door. <laughs> great, now I gotta pee. Kirby, don't mess up your good track record. You're doing great this morning. I gotta trim Ellie's hair. All right, let's take, taking a break. That, that thing's heavy. They're gonna love it. One can go underneath, one can go on top. Nobody's gonna do that. They only go on top. Well, if I was a goat, I'd want to go underneath. <laughs> hey boys, look what I got ya. Cause right now they're sleeping in the middle of the stall in a little puddle, in a little pile. They're so excited. They're like, wow, what is this? Yep. Yeah. It's for you guys. Your dad stopped along the side of the road and picked up garbage just for you. <laughs> They're like, wow. There you go. Uh-oh. Look at that. Let me try it out. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. They're like, no, I much prefer some breakfast, please. I like it, though. I think you should put some straw underneath the front of it. Usually she hears my voice and she's standing over here facing this. Ha, ah, posy pig. Oh, you look so chubby again. Man, you guys. She's a hard one to feed. What? You guys are smelling everything. I bet you they smell the cat. I bet you the cat was laying there last night. I actually need more straw, Sam. I need more straw. Because I need to do the chicken coop tomorrow. That's going to be our family, our family job. Tomorrow is gonna be the chicken coop and nobody's gonna like it because oh, chicken coops are gross. They're small, they're closed in, there's chickens everywhere. It's just super annoying, but it has to get done. 
We're having a nice reprieve from the winter weather today. And then I think it's gonna get cold and we're gonna get winter, so we gotta get it done. But we have plans today, so we won't be doing it today. So we're gonna have to do it tomorrow. If you look at Posey from the back, she's an okay size. Literally, it's like spring out here. I have to take off my hoodie. This is my farm hoodie. All the smells can get on it, and I peel it off, and then I smell good again. At least that's what I hope. Anyway, today is the, well, tomorrow is the start of my birthday week. My birthday is next week, at the end of next week. And we are headed to the mall to get me a new phone. Uh, it's not because it's my birthday, but I'm gonna look at it like it's because it's my birthday. It's because my phone is due this week. So I have to trade it in and get something new, something updated and something better. So it's like a birthday present to me. But did you guys know, this is the thing that Sam and I are different about. Did you guys know that it's so much better to celebrate your birthday and be proud of your birthday and be happy about your birthday, to teach your kids to celebrate themselves when it's their birthday. Like when it's my birthday, usually I am so excited. I'm like, it's my birthday. And I get really excited because I want my kids to learn that. And I want them to feel okay, you know, about celebrating themselves because so many people don't. And Sam is the opposite. Sam is the ultimate ruiner of birthdays and holidays because he always just complains about them. He like, he, he, I don't know why he does that, but he is like the biggest complainer. Hey, I mean, I'll complain too, <laughs> but not about my birthday. I want my kids to know that they can grow up and, and still love their special day. And it's not about presents. I couldn't care less if I ever got a present. It's about celebrating yourself and making it a special day for yourself. Like even if nobody else in the whole world recognizes that it's your birthday, as long as you know that it's your birthday and you feel good in your heart and you feel good inside, then that's what celebrating a birthday is about. So to change the subject, the problem I have with Posey feeding her is that I give her the food that she needs each day because especially when it's cold, I want her to have the food she needs. But then she scavenges along here and finds all the food that the goats have dropped. Like why don't the goats find the food that they've dropped? It's just the weirdest thing. And she finds everything. She finds everything that's dropped and then she eats that too. So I'm afraid to like change her food so that she's only getting a half of it or a portion of it and then the rest of her diet makes up the food she finds because I never know if she's gonna like you can't you can't rely on her finding food especially like once the snow comes and stuff so that's why it's hard for me to moderate her weight but plus she's a pot belly pig so she's always gonna be chubbier in the belly but her jowls are looking big her little jowls are looking big there we go one's eating on the top and dropping the food down the other one's picking it up on the bottom but also pigs are notoriously slow at eating I swear she enjoys every bite of her food she chews it and she just stands there with a big smile on her face They're reveling in every single second that she that she eats she has no desire to rush this amazing experience cricket don't you do it it's so bright in the morning no sorry sorry beautiful girl I'm sorry but there's none of that you can't eat her food she needs that. Go eat some hay. That's what you're supposed to eat. Go eat your hay. I can't wait to see her babies next year. Like they are gonna be so beautiful. She's gonna have my cow babies. She's gonna have black babies with lots of white overlay. It is a quarter to 10 and I'm already in the car. I'm the first one. I love being the first one. It's almost like I was, I'm winning. And you know, everything is a competition. Everything. Like, I'm literally the only one. Anyway, we had so much fun at Sophie's thing last night. Gabby didn't go because, you know, she was lazy. She just wanted to stay home in her pajamas. Oh, wait, she's going to the mall in her pajamas. <laughs> anyway, she just wanted to stay home and relax and, and do her own thing. And I get it. Like, I didn't go everywhere my parents went when I was almost 18. Anyway, there was a silent auction. So, Sophie won. I have to show you guys. Sophie won in both. So, it was the end of year banquet. Also kind of like a Christmas party, but Sophie won fourth place in walk trot poles overall for the whole year. Then she won fourth place overall for cross rails for 12 and over, which is so good. Like 
lady is brand new to all of it. And she came fourth out of a huge group. Like, there was like 24 people in each division. And she only did two shows. I mean, lady didn't look amazing. She didn't do amazing. You could clearly tell she was at the beginning. But still, I thought that was amazing. So Sophie got two yellow ribbons. We were hoping for a sixth place to get a pink ribbon because they were so pretty. But no, she got two fourths. And then at the silent auction, we actually won two things. We won, uh, Sophie won this. Sophie, do you have your bag? Is that Sophie? No. Oh. Sophie won a crossbody bag. She already has like three, but it's a nice one. It's red. I told her she should give it to Gabby, but Gabby has a green one, and Gabby likes her green one. So, anyway, she won this crossbody bag. It's so cute. And she got a $30 gift card to Sephora in it. And we won this huge basket. This is a movie night basket. So it came with a $50 gift card to go to the movies because I really want to see a movie right now. There's a movie called Here and I, I, and I want to watch it so bad. So we got that. I got some fuzzy socks in that basket. We opened the basket and we split it all up. So like Gabby got the hot chocolate because Gabby drinks hot chocolate every single day of her life. And she got hot chocolate and she got a mug. She loves mugs, loves mugs. Like the crazier the mug, the better. So Gabby likes it. So Gabby got hot chocolate and a mug. What? A, and she got some chocolates, Lindor. She got Lindor chocolates, yep. And Sophie got a mug, some marshmallows. What else did you get from that basket? Chocolate. Chocolate, Sam got chocolate, his favorite thing. I got socks and I got some bubble bath that has magnesium in it. What? Movie coupon? Yeah, I've got the movie coupon. I told them that. But anyway, I'll put a picture in here. So. Are we going to movies today? It was a fun night, but I just have to tell you guys that <laughs> I love my barn and I love my coach. I love our coach. Like, our barn literally is for the people. It's for the people always. They could, like, they have a lot of students at our barn. It's a big barn and their whole mission statement is about making riding affordable to anybody who wants to do it and like they haven't raised their prices in years they're about twenty dollars less than what everybody else charges in this area and and that's not why we go there but it's so amazing to be able to see so many kids that would never have been able to compete with the rising costs like even their shows everybody can show at that barn because their shows are so affordable like and then that champs that was at this beautiful place there they talked about in a speech how their vision for champs this year was to make a silver series horse competition in a beautiful place that's affordable for everybody to go to and it was like run so professionally it was so amazing it was like so amazing and i can't tell you guys like i love our barn all right we're headed to the mall i'm gonna get my phone and then we're gonna go someplace else that's really fun. Someplace else that we haven't done for a really long time since the girls were little. We're gonna take you guys with us. We are officially in the perfume stage. That's the perfume like? Yeah. Wow, that's the smallest perfume ever. It's the moon. Kayali. Vanilla. My kind of girl. So, Gabby. Which one? This one? And they don't have any. Love, don't be shy. Wow, that's the perfect kind of perfume for you. So the perfume that Gabby wants, $385 for a little tiny bottle. Perfume Sophie wants, vanilla candy rock sugar, $187. So because it was mine and Sophie's birthday, we both got free gifts. And we got Gucci perfume sample. That's all they had, but I'm, I'm okay with that. Oh my oh. gosh, that's the cutest. And this is what Sophie wants for Christmas. Everybody thinks like she's like a big chicken. She's a, a total daredevil. That's what she wants for Christmas. I really want uh, an e-bike. Like I really, really want an e-bike. I'm dying for an e-bike. It's a, I don't know, but that, that's like a scooter slash four-wheeler, three-wheeler. That's so cool. And then I have this little car that literally could only fit one person. So cute. The girls are dying to try this thing. Gabby wants to win a... What is that? Kirby. A Kirby. Gabby wants to win a Kirby. And Sophie wants to win... What do you want to win? A puppy? 
or uh, bananas in pajamas. Oh, oh, they are so cute, those little puppies. I was here getting the tokens. Do I put it in there? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go video Gabby because I feel like Gabby, Gabby is, was born under the sign of the golden pig. I feel like she will win. All right, I'll be back. Win it, Sophie. So this is like a whole new thing in our mall. There you go. Oh, and just like that, you lost. I believe in you. Golden pig, Gabby, golden pig. Did you win? All right, here we go. Here comes Sophie. I think you just put your money in and it does it itself. No, it doesn't do it itself. She feels like she can win it. Fastest 20 bucks you ever could spend. <laughs> That's okay. It's designed to make you fail. Man. So Sam's gonna be good luck now. Sophie really wants that sausage thing. A hot dog. All right, Sophie's gonna try and win this. Gabby's gonna try and win this giant dinosaur. Are you ready? Go. Stop. Oh, you suck at this. <laughs> Why? It's genetic. Where do you have to stop at? At the road. I had to get it past the white thing. Oh. All right, so this is the hot dog that Sophie wants. That's like the weirdest looking hot dog I ever saw. That's a cute dinosaur though, so cute. So when somebody wins something, all the lights in the whole place flash. That's cool. Too late. All right, come on, Sophie, you can do it. You can do it, you can do it. You can do it. Can do it. Oh, somebody else won. Oh, there's like a lucky person in here. So, we are at the Festival of Trees. Wow, that's an interesting looking tree. So basically what you do is you walk around, you buy tickets, you, you buy tickets and then you walk around and you put your ticket inside the box. And at the end of the festival, they draw names to see who wins the tree. Oh, look at this one. I personally think this one's adorable. It's just really tiny. One with a little raccoon. So basically the strategy here is to find the ugliest tree and put it in that and you'll win. We actually went to the Festival of the Trees before and the, we won a tree. Yeah, you get the whole tree. Wow, this is a perfect tree for us. Baby Lily could win. Mr. Potato Head. Yeah, it's just Potato Head. That's cute, I love that. This would be perfect. Just wrap it up, it'll be little baby Lily's Christmas present. All right, so this one's cool. It's crafts and games. Isn't that one cute? So the Christmas tree one that we won before, it had a gift certificate for a toy store. You like that? With the dog stuff. Oh, that's so cute. So it's all animal stuff. There's cat stuff. That's so cute. Uh, it's this one. This one? Well, let's read it. Yeah, put it in the one closest to it, yeah. Cute. If we won that, that'd be perfect for our dogs. This one's cute. So over here, there's two planters you can win. I'm still looking around to see where I want to put my tickets. This one's cute. It's like a home one. <laughs> Everything for the home. And then on the paper, it tells you what's in it. Look at this tiny little tree. At first glance, it looks boring compared to the others. But all the decorations are money. $10. That's ten dollars. It's five dollars. It's five dollars. Ten dollars. Twenty dollars. There's a twenty dollar. It's a hundred and fifty dollar tree. That place is more packed than the mall. A month before Christmas. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, the last time we won, Sam had to go pick up our tree. And it was like not that nice of a tree. It's a big tree. And it had all these big I still have the decorations, I think, from that tree. But it had like all these toys and stuff on it and it had a gift card for a toy store and it just was like really kid orientated and we won it and Sam had to take my van and because we didn't have a truck back then and he had to 
they so what they do is they saran wrap that sucker so they saran wrap the whole tree before you pick it up so nothing falls off of it and then you go and you pick it up my car yeah and then the license plate says my car oh the license plate is my car yeah okay so then we he strapped it to the top of the van brought it home it was so fun it was like opening a christmas present when we got that christmas tree because every branch had something different just like looking at the decorations and it was just so fun anyway we like to support that um event every time we see it because it's actually so fun all right we are home and i'm going to show you guys the phone that i got i don't have a case yet i looked at a bunch of cases but i want something special i'm finding out that they don't have special cases anymore I always use like a wallet case and I hate those because it's hard to it makes it hard to take pictures or make videos because it's always flapping in front of the camera but I wanted to tell you guys something before I show you my phone first it's gorgeous out here like I just have my sweater on it's so nice outside and look uh oh quick before my <laughs> the horses are all running away I wanted to show you guys all right they literally left there's just the minis left Anyways, you guys know how I've been like really struggling with, wow, that's not a mini, that's Gracie. You know how I've been really struggling with the whole blanket thing? Like I've been really struggling, like am I doing the right thing? There's so much pressure to blanket your horse, even if like they really don't need it. There's just so much pressure. So anyways, we drove by a bunch of farms and all those horses had blankets on. They were all outside with blankets on and I'm like, oh my gosh all those horses with blankets on they had blankets on and it's like it's like 65 degrees or something out here like it is so nice there's hardly any wind the sun is so strong like could almost get a suntan honestly and there are all these horses with blankets on them and probably most of them need blankets because they had didn't haven't built a coat like their coat is completely gone it made me think like wow like i'm so glad our horses aren't blanketed that doesn't mean i'm not going to blanket them this winter at all but i'm really glad that they're not blanketed yet it's so early in the season it feels like but anyway i just wanted to say that and thank you guys so much for like encouraging me i've read a lot of your comments and saying like don't do it don't do it and i'm trying to hold strong and so far, I'm happy about it. All right, let's go see my new. Let's go see my new phone. Okay, so here is my phone. I got that Galaxy S24 Ultra. And Ellie really wants to <laughs> have my attention. So Sam got it and he had them put on the, the screen. The, he had them put on the protectors for the camera because my last phone the camera got all scratched. It still worked perfectly, but it was just a mess. And this is what the front looks like. I have fingerprints all over it. It's the black color, even though it kind of looks gray. I need to get a case for it. But this is it. I haven't even set it up yet. The Samsung hey. Fold 4 was my dream phone. I wanted it so badly. It was like something I, like I tried to get it for a year. It wasn't even available here, hardly. It was so difficult to get. And then finally I got it and I hated it. Like I loved it at first. Yeah, but I told you you are gonna hate it. I did, I hated it. I only hated it this last like six months or so because it didn't stand up. It didn't stand up. If it had stood, stood up, I would have loved it and the only other thing I didn't like about the fold phone was that when it was folded which I ended up using it mostly when it was folded it was like this tiny little phone because it was only half of the phone I bought it because it was such a big phone when it's unfolded but I ended up only using it folded most of the times anyway that is it for today's video we'll see you guys tomorrow thank you guys so much for watching don't you know that you're beautiful just the